chat about different types of muscles. And we're going to start. I mean, you see, we've got the three images now. Tell you what, I'll, I'll quickly name these things, and we'll and we'll sort of go from here. What we are talking about in this first image is is muscles like this one here. And you probably know that this is the bicep. You probably know that it inserts down onto the radius. You probably know that it has the other end up here somewhere. I'm not going to get into that here. Um, but one of the things you might not realize, of course, it's it's causing very frequently flexion of the of the elbow, for example. But you might not realize that this is what we would call a voluntary muscle. Okay, so that's a really nice term for you to be able to um, to use here. It's a voluntary muscle of the skeletal system. Okay, so in other words, if we think about this skeletal system bit, skeletal system. If we think about the skeletal system bit, you know, the fact that I said that this muscle inserts that's a technical term but inserts on this radius here is important because it connects to the skeleton okay that's what we're talking about here and of course when it connects and pulls it causes this action flexion of course it can work to uh, slow down extension as well but that's what we are talking about here it is a voluntary muscle of the skeletal system now we have other types of muscles you might notice in this blood vessel here but let me choose a different color we have this kind of enwrapping if i was to draw it around there enwrapping muscle around here these are what we refer to as involuntary muscles in blood vessels involuntary muscles in blood vessels and by the way we have them in two types of blood vessels both the arteries and the veins okay they happen to be of a different kind of thickness and uh, nature of performance to one another whether they're in veins or, or arteries and i'll come back to that in a second so we have these involuntary again notice the word involuntary they are controlled involunta involuntarily i cannot think uh, consciously i would like the smooth muscle or, or the involuntary muscle around my aorta to constrict i can't ask it to do that it will do that automatically now you guys you folks in your biology course is doing all about sort of negative feedback loops and it works in exactly the same way here we're not going to get into the details of it but that's what we want to be considering and then finally in the heart and of course the heart as a pump by definition it produces mechanical and muscular force it is a muscle and we simply call this a cardiac muscle and i would stress to you that this is also involuntary okay so a couple of distinguishers here our skeletal muscles are voluntary in other words i'm you know as i talk now i'm moving the muscles and choosing to move the muscles of my face my cheeks uh, my tongue for example to make the sounds that you're hearing right now you can't see me but i could flex and extend my elbow it's happening nice and swiftly here in the background just imagine it it looks ridiculous um but also we want to differentiate that with involuntary that we've got for our smooth muscle. And this, by the way, this is a nice term for you to use here. Smooth muscle of the blood vessels and also our cardiac involuntary muscle of the heart. So let's see if we can you know, really sort of clarify these. We've already said that these muscles are skeletal muscles. Let's actually reinforce that. That's a description we might use. And we will give examples of the bicep. We could give examples of the tricep for example we could give examples of the pectoral muscles we could even give examples of these forearm muscles although we don't really cover them in this course furthermore we want to say they are under conscious that is thought-based control so as i said i can control that way and finally they contract they contract pulling on the skeleton of course to cause movement to cause movement so in other words every single sporting performance is powered by contraction of these skeletal muscles examples of those movements could be things like flexion it could be things like extension but of course it could also be abduction adduction and so on but these are examples of the of the movement they produce and i remember muscles pull against bones so we've seen that as the example of the radius there what about our smooth muscles then what do they do well they constrict and dilate lovely terms for you to use please constriction and dilation rather than if possible contraction and relaxation constriction is contraction dilation is relaxation and what do they do they let me put these points in there they increase i'll put it like that or decrease resistance to blood flow resistance to blood flow in other words they can effectively direct blood 
more down one passage way than another this means that they can redistribute blood and if i was to say to you they can redistribute cardiac output that would be a nice link to previous knowledge as well and as we know already they are under unconscious control okay so they are unconscious control they are involuntary <coughs> excuse me now i did mention the difference between um arteries and veins what i would stress to you is that arteries have thicker muscle walls okay they have thicker muscle walls and veins have thinner but the other thing i'd say here is that a lot of our constriction and dilation happens in the arteries and what veins kind of do they kind of pulse the the, the if you think that veins lead blood back to the heart they're under the lowest pressure the blood in those veins they sort of pulse the blood back to the heart that's what those those muscles are kind of fun it's kind of a useful mechanism to get more blood back to the heart right anyway more of that in future studies and finally cardiac muscle obviously this is the heart muscle that's obvious we've already said that to make sure we've got all our key points down here we also want to mention that they receive and eject blood i love the term eject blood i think it's so descriptive of what's happening here and of course that's from the heart they receive and eject blood they act as a pump we've mentioned that a couple of times already and finally it is unconscious control so those are three different types of muscles within the body we could have talked about their structural characteristics they all actually look a bit different under a microscope uh, some of these are striped i'm not going to get into it here others are not uh, some of them have more mitochondria anyway let's not go down that road that's more towards your biology more towards future study i just want to ignite you lovely people a little bit the, i've kind of told you such a base bit of information here please accept from me that the follow-up lessons that we could do off the back of this are stunning learning and i would really encourage you to be excited about it and maybe even i can teach it to you in the future cheers